Hi, I'm Jamo from Xcase in the UK, www.xcase.co.uk. Take a look. Today I'm going to look at a new game in Chassis. It's called the H5. And we do like to do chassis that are a little bit different from others. And I think you'll agree that this is certainly a little bit different. So, let's start from the front panel. You'll notice this um, alien type head um, embossed on the front panel. There's two versions of the case actually. One's got a skull on the front and this one's the alien. Now, the good thing about this particular chassis is sometimes when a case has got a front panel like this, hiding the 5.25 bays, the door that holds the panel is sometimes obvious that it's a door and then once you open it it's very poorly fitted. Well, with this particular chassis it's actually very hard to notice that it is a door. And, more importantly, it opens very nicely. There's obviously a magnet fitted in here and here. And it just clicks magnetically back into place. Very easy to open, but nice and secure when it's back. Now, at the bottom, there's this little bit of vented area, and behind there, there is space for a 120mm fan. Looking at the top of the case, we've got these top-mounted two USBs and your audio. These rather nice and strong handles. The whole of this uh, plastic panel going across the case is very strong indeed. It's not weak or poor plastic. And the handles are definitely strong enough to cart the thing around when it's fully laden with components. You'll notice the top vent here. This allows hot air to escape through the top of the case. And we've got a vent on this panel. And unusually, and just for design I would imagine, they've also copied the uh, moulded plastic on the left panel to the right panel also, and it's also got a vent. Looking at the rear, you can see that there's a fan there, 120mm, it's blue coloured, and it's included. We've got two holes for water cooling pipes, and the PSU's mounted at the bottom. We've got a couple of thumb screws here. We'll take off so I can get inside the chassis. First of all, uh, line the panel down, you'll notice there's a 140mm fan fitted. And the whole of the chassis is painted black.
we've got uh, clips here which hold in your 5.25 bays, your CD-ROMs, etc. Now, this chassis can be used for multiple CD-ROMs. Um, And if you see inside there, hopefully, we've got space for three internal hard drives, a standard. Now, these bays can in fact be moved further down the chassis, so you could use the top 5.25 bays for a five and a quarter to three and a half inch drive caddy or in fact use a caddy on the front. As I said you can see where the bottom mounted power supply would fit. And you'll see that the PCI cards, PCI Express cards, etc., are held down by these clips. Note the space for two top 120mm fans. Or you could put a radiator up there if you're going to water cool the case. see where a front 120mm fan could be fitted. There's the space for the three three and a half inch hard drives. And your four exposed 5.25 bays. Now the chassis is as I've said already, it's very strong internally and externally. Absolutely ideal for a gaming rig where you've got a long video card because there's just bundles of room for anything on the market. Uh, choose your fans wisely and you've got a very good um, air-cooled case. Or you've got space, plenty of space, to put radiators in for a a water cord case. So there we go, the H5. Very different in design. Not particularly expensive, I think it's around about £49 plus the VAT. Well constructed, well built. Not too big. It will take a full-sized ATX motherboard, a micro ATX motherboard, or even an ITX. And you have got space if you're going to use an air-cooled cooler, which needs to put a plate under the motherboard. There's a recess here. Well, there we go. I think that's about it. The H5. I like it. I like it a lot. Thanks for listening.